guys, welcome back. I'm David, the founder of Ultimate Survival Tips, the survival show podcast, and your instructor for this new video series that we're about to kick off today. Over the next few weeks, through nine lessons, I'm gonna teach you a survival skill that almost everyone wants to learn, but most people fail at. And that's how to make a proper bow drill kit and then utilize it to make friction fire by rubbing two sticks together. What I'm about to show you is the same powerful one hour training that I use in my live training classes and private mentoring to break the barriers and demolish the learning curve that stands between my students and their first bow drill fire. You will be amazed, you will be surprised, and you might even shout for joy like so many before you have when you unlock your inner scout and successfully build your bow drill kit and use it to make a friction fire. It was magic, it was absolute magic. These guys coached me into building a, a fire from a bow drill that I've been trying to do my entire life. But before we get started, smash that like button so you don't miss out on any of the lessons in this nine part video series. And go grab the outline, notes, and materials checklist for this course for free at ultimatesurvivaltips.com forward slash bow drill for a limited time. Okay, today we're gonna launch this series by doubling up and going through lesson number one, four reasons fires fail, and lesson number two, bow drill kit parts and materials. In this lesson, we're gonna take a quick look at why most people fail when trying to make a bow drill fire for the first time and how this course is going to help you overcome these obstacles. Now the first reason most people fail at bow drill fire is a lack of understanding about basic fire physics. To understand fire, you need to understand the three essential elements to produce fire, which are air, heat, and fuel. Now these essential elements are often represented in what is called the fire triangle. Fire or combustion happens when the right combination of enough air, a high enough heat, and the appropriate type of dry fuel are combined to make fire. Always remember the fire triangle. Figure out what's missing, fix it, and you will get fire. Now the second reason most people fail at bow drill is that something is wrong with their kit that makes it impossible to satisfy the three elements of the fire triangle. The third reason many people fail at bow drill is that they have a poor bow drill technique that makes it impossible to satisfy the air, heat, and fuel requirements needed to satisfy the fire triangle and make fire. And the fourth reason that many people fail at bow drill is that the friction required to produce enough heat to make fire is greater than their level of fitness, meaning they become exhausted before they can make fire with their kit. So in the following lessons, we're gonna build a perfect bow drill kit that will almost totally eliminate three of these four obstacles and leave us with only one major item to focus on, proper technique. Okay, let's grab some materials and start building our kit. Lesson two, bow drill kit parts and materials. There are six essential components to a basic bow drill kit, which include a spindle, fireboard, bowstring, handhold, ember pan, and the bow. In the wilderness, we can source these from natural materials, but this requires a bit of knowledge and experience, which you can learn over time if you like. But for now, we're gonna eliminate these variables and create our kit from readily available material scraps. If you don't have these around the house, no problem. They're cheap and readily available at building supply stores. Here's what you'll need. For a slick bow, use a scrap piece of half inch PVC pipe that's at least 24 inches long. You'll find PVC pipe in the plumbing and electrical conduit sections of stores like Lowe's or Home Depot. In the forest, you would use a bent branch for a bow. For a bowstring, you'll need about 36 inches of strong cord. For your foolproof bow drill kit, I recommend using paracord, but in a pinch, you could use a strong shoe or boot lace. Next, for the spindle or drill, the easiest material to use is a three quarter inch poplar dowel rod. They come in 48 inch lengths at most building supply shops. You can also use a one inch thick pine, spruce, fir, or poplar board that's at least 10 inches long. We'll show you how to use both of these in this course. In the forest, you would use a dry softwood branch. For the fireboard, which is also called a hearthboard, you need a piece 
of pine, spruce, fir, or poplar that's at least one inch thick, two inches wide, and about 30 inches long. In the forest, you would fashion this from a dry piece of softwood. Now, using the same type of wood for your spindle and fireboard is the simplest way to make your kit. Next, for the ember pan, you can use a business card, note card, or even a slip of dry paper. In the forest, you might use something like a dry leaf. And last but not least, for your handhold, which is also called a bearing block, we'll use a shot glass. Believe it or not, using a shot glass for your bearing block will dramatically improve your chances of getting a fire with your kit. I'll explain this later. In the forest, you would use a small section of a hardwood branch for your bearing block. You'll also need a saw, a drill, a heat source like a candle, oil lamp, or propane torch, a lighter or match, a sharp knife, and a can of soup. Okay, let's build our bow. We've just taken a look at four reasons bow drill fires fail and all the materials you're gonna need to start building your bow drill kit. And join me next time for lesson number three in this series where you're gonna build your bow drill bow out of common PVC pipe. And go grab the outline, notes, and materials checklist for this course if you haven't already done so. You can get them for free at ultimatesurvivaltips.com forward slash bow drill for a limited time. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any of the lessons in this nine part video series. All right, everybody, I think that's about it. Until next time, I hope to see you on the other side. And remember, be prepared because you never know.